Okay, guys. We just took off and we left up here in Sturgis. We went all the way up. There was nothing to see. We, we did a little shooting right here across the border. Wasn't much to see there. But here's the video for that. Well, guys, this road sucks. Uh, right here, I think we're coming into North Dakota. I think that's the sign right here. But you can tell by the vibration. No, that they did. That ain't it. We're getting close. What's that say? Somebody's wedding. Hey, somebody's getting married. Should we go to that? Okay, it ain't right there. But it's coming up real close. South Dakota getting ready to cross the North Dakota uh, line here. We're looking for cheap or free places to stay because we spent way too much in Sturgis. Huh. thought there should be one, but who knows. Uh, you have a good time? Yes, the, sir. South Dakota? Yeah, a great time. Do you like it better without people or with the bikes? Uh, without. Without? So, that's what we're going to do. This is going to be real short. I'll show you the campsite when we get there and hook that onto here. And that's about it because i got an awful lot of videos there for you to catch up. This is still May and we got them on there until July. So I don't need to be making a bunch more. And, uh, hey, Vicki, what did the ham sandwich, what went with that? The ham sandwich walked into the bar and ordered a beer. What did uh, the bartender say to him? We don't serve food in here. <laughs> Come on, laugh, that's funny. We don't serve food in here? That is funny. Okay, I don't know if there's a sign. She's really not grumpy, guys. She's camera shy today. I don't feel good. I got really bad allergies today. Don't feel good. So. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. Oh, is that what you told me earlier? And then Hank don't feel good either. And my back's hurt me. Yeah, this road ain't open. Here we go. I think that's the sign. There's a few motorcyclers out here. Heavy duty crosswind. Do we want to stop? No. No. Okay. Well, we'll just zoom up a picture. I'll pull one up here. Here we go. I don't want to be out there any more than I have to. No. North Dakota! <laughs> okay. We crossed the border. We're there. Now we just went up to Bowman. Now, we don't know if it was Bowman or the next stop, but somewhere Hank got a tick. I got a tick. We all got a tick. It wasn't no fun. But here's a video on Bowman. Well, we made it to Bowman, North Dakota. Just over the South Dakota line headed north. Uh, this is a Lions campground. Uh, it has water and a dump station has no hookups at all here where you're going to be parked where we parked but we have we have solar and everything we need we should be fine we got plenty of water uh, it's $12 donation or whatever you feel like donating uh, we don't know how long we're going to stay here it is very windy today and it's supposed to be windy tomorrow yeah that's why I'm standing behind the pickup I'll give you a shot here of where we're parked. It's only got like six sites, I think it is, to park. 
we took the best one because we're the only ones here again. Pandemic travels. That's what it is. And there's where we are. Now, here's going to be a drawback, I think. I think that's a, that is a fairground right there. And I believe that might even be a stockyard right there. So there may be a few flies around here. But they keep it up nice. Hope you can hear me. Uh, this is where we are for tonight and maybe longer, up to three days. We'll see. That's it for this video, Shorty. Then we left Bowman and we headed over to Montana. And we took a little video there when we crossed the border there. Well, uh, we got about five miles to go here before we get to uh, Montana border with uh, North Dakota. This is our first time in North Dakota. Take a look at the little mountains around here. I don't know what they're made out of. And the wind is blowing bad again. Blowing all day yesterday and blowing today. We're just taking our time. We're only we're going about 10 miles an hour under the speed limit. Which uh, speed limit's 65 here, so we're going to 55. I'm no hurry, man. I've seen these things blow over. And just, we ain't going to do that, are we? Nope. you think about that little where we just came where did we come from uh bowman north dakota and it was a uh, little rv park uh sponsored by the lions club there and you could uh pay by donation so whatever you felt uh was your spot was worth and you could pay that. They prefer that you would pay $12 a night if you stay there, but we didn't use any uh, of the water or that we didn't use the dump. So no, We didn't need to use anything. We just parked there overnight. Yeah. But then we, and we, then we left there. Were you, you going to say something? Uh, we did make a donation, but we it wasn't the $12. But, yeah, know, we gave you 20 bucks. <laughs> Money bags. <laughs> But then we pulled out of there. We didn't go anywhere. Once we got there, we got set up. We didn't even unhook the truck. We took yeah. the weight off the truck because we could and got everything uh, set up on the RV, but we didn't even unhook it. One thing you want to know is if you're in an RV and you're pulling the trailer, you stop for the night, always unplug your pigtail because if something happens, you don't want to drain the juice out of your battery and your uh, pull, pull rig. So we did that. But, Whoa. oh my. <laughs> Gee. There, my generator hopped around back there then, huh? <laughs> yeah. And we did use the generator there. Fired it up, made some coffee. Batteries, the solar system we have on here, worked great. We watched TV all night. Well, we watched a, a two hour movie. We watched the Apple Dumpling Gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watched. We watched Disney last night. Because uh, we got no channels. One mile right down here, it says, is uh, the border. So anyway, we pulled out of that RV place. We didn't go nowhere. We just pulled up, which was a shoot, half a block or a block. Pulled up to the stop sign to leave. We noticed there was a grocery store right across the street. Yeah. And I think you can park there for free. And it looked like it had electricity. Uh, hook up. I didn't check it out. I didn't ask them. Maybe they'd let you, but there's no reason to stay there. You go to the campground. We, we were the only ones there. It was so quiet, except for the wind blowing a little bit. Yeah. It sure was nice not to lift it. listen to trains all night. Oh my gosh. Or traffic and Harleys. And, I mean, even in Sturgis, when there's no rally, it's noisy. Yeah. You're, you're right by the freeway. There's still Harleys going and coming. And what do we got here? What's that sign say? Montana. Yeah, boy, we're getting closer to home now. There's your Montana sign right yep. there. 
Slow down. Montana. There it is. Montana. I be able to take a picture with my phone. Well, okay, hurry up. There's nothing behind us. I'll let you know. I'm gonna stop right here in the middle of the road, so Vicky can hang out at the window. Or when we go up below. Yeah. Oh, this stupid phone. Come on. <laughs> stop. Okay, go a little farther. Stop, stop, stop. stop. There's Vicky doing her thing while I'm videoing the whole thing. Hurry up, here comes the car. Okay. All right. Well, we're in Montana, guys. What the hell is that? What's that? The yellow thing going up and down. I don't know. What the heck? An elevator? You guys see that off to the right there? We'll get a little closer. I don't know what that thing's doing. Must be. Must be an oil rig of some kind. I've never seen one like that. Wow. It's got to be. It's got to be an oil thing. Yeah. Never seen one like that. Pumping oil. Pumping oil. But here's your, uh, this is Montana now. Don't it look a lot different than South Dakota right behind us? Nope. There's another oil something or other over there. Yeah, they're pumping oil. Oh, up one up there. on the hill. There must be a big oil field underneath us. Wow. They're all they're all around us. That's a big one too. Yeah. Newer one. Yeah. Well <laughs> guys, uh, I think we've been yammered on enough here. We'll show you the camp spot. We're gonna stop down here. We're gonna get some more fuel. We haven't filled this up since. Uh, hot springs. When you can carry uh, 100 gallons of fuel, you don't need to stop very often. But hope you enjoyed this little piece. You got a joke for the day? No, I don't. No joke for the day. Don't you think she should be telling a joke one a day, guys? Give me a comment on here. One a day is all. Okay, I got one for you. It's a knock knock joke. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, you start it. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for us, guys. See you later. <laughs> Cross the border right here in the Montana. Went on Highway 12. I'm going to tell you right now, do not travel on Highway 12. Okay? Highway 12 is not a good road. Not a good road. But we started on it, we wanted to finish, we kept thinking it'd get better and better, and it'd get better in some spots, but it would not. Then it would get bumpy and holy and all kinds of dippy. So, yeah, I, mean, I went 10 to 15 miles an hour under the speed limit. Okay, we stopped here. This was called Mushel. Mushel? How do you say it? I know how to spell it. Muscle shell. Muscle shell. I don't think that's right. Anyway. We stayed here. Here's the video on it. The internet and thought we'd give it a try. Uh, nope. Won't do it again. It has no TV stations, no cell service, no electricity. Does have water. It's just a park. And, uh, Low hanging trees too, by the way. Well, we're gonna pass on this one ever again. Hank likes the grass. So that's it for uh, this place. It's I don't even know what it's called. Sh uh, uh, Michelle, something or other. I'll get the name and put it right here. Vicky found it. It's not far from Roundup. Uh, it's. East of Roundup, the town of Roundup, in Montana. Here's the name right here. Then we left here, and we headed down, staying on 12, staying true to our original path. Okay. Ugh. We came here on 12. Right there. Where are we at? There we are. 12 here, up here, and we're right here now at White Sulphur Springs. Now, take a look at this video. Well, ain't that beautiful over there? 
See if we can zoom in a little bit. You know we can. Of course, I can't see it very good because the sun's in my eyes. Yeah, that's Montana over there. Mountains. Gonna be going through there pretty soon. Pretty quiet right here. Nice little campground. A lot better than the last two we stayed at that were uh, more or less free, donation only. Uh, you can hear the birds here. Nice little town. We're gonna go explore it. There's some castle we gotta go see. We'll go see that tomorrow and film it for you guys. But not a lot of people here. And it's about, oh, maybe a quarter full. We've got all those people right there. But uh, I think some of them been here a while because it just looks like, you know, you can tell when people will be staying a while. They're beautiful scenery around here. Took uh, Highway 12 to get here all the way across the state.